Hey guys, how are you today? Uh, today's January, uh, excuse me, July uh, 3rd, 2018. And uh, today was my first day of doing mixed martial arts training. Today was uh, kickboxing, uh, kickboxing class. And uh, I used to take uh, martial arts, karate, back when I was like 15 years old, you know, I got up to like, I don't know, like green belt or blue, purple belt, whatever it was, blue belt, I think. That's like three or four belts into it. I did it like, you know, 12 till about 16. You know, I did some little tournaments here and there. I was pretty good, pretty flexible, kicked a lot of high kicks and spinning kick, heel kicks, that kind of stuff. Um, it saved me a couple times when I was younger, you know, um, but, uh, as the years progressed, you know, I stopped doing it, but then I started, you know, watching like UFC, mixed martial arts, started seeing the progression of this Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and how that really, um, you know, I, I want to say, you know, because all most fights go to the ground and in like martial arts, like, you know, point sparring, like karate and Taekwondo, they don't really teach you what to do once you hit the ground. So. Uh, we never learned those kind of moves, you know, it was always like, you know, you have to throw a roundhouse kick to the face and that's pretty much it. So by, you know, watching the UFC and, and seeing this mixed martial arts progression, um, you know, years later, now I'm 44, you know, uh, I'm starting to see that, um, you know, that's the way to go, you know, if, if, if you want to. And for years I've been putting it off. I was like, oh, I'm going to go and get my black belt karate and whatever. And for years and years, you know, 20s, didn't have time, I was in college, and I hit my 30s, I kept saying, putting it off, yeah, I'm gonna do it this year, next year, you know, 36, 37. Then finally, I was, when I turned 40, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it now. Well, guess what, 44. <laughs> and really one of the main reasons uh, why I'm deciding to, um, I'm still deciding to do this mixed martial arts thing is because, um, you know, I want to teach my child, who's about, you know, five. I want to teach her um, how to, you know, protect herself and probably, you know, do the school thing. So it's really like for my kid. But at the same time, I like to learn it for myself too. So, I was, you know, I, today was my first day, um, and I'm just deciding uh, between like a, a school that just teaches Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu versus a school that teaches Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, kickboxing and grappling so it's like the combination and uh, so today I went I did the kickboxing class just because I figured figured okay I'll you know something I'm a little more comfortable with kicks you know obviously a couple punches and I went today and it was pretty good we started off stretching and all kinds of stuff I haven't worked out in a while but I've been stretching out in the last couple of weeks just to because I felt like the tin man from Wizard of Oz but anyways you know the oil <laughs> anyways um, so Got in there, stretching, doing some kicks, everything's going great, you know, I'm liking it, and I'm like, okay, I like this, this is, this is, you know, I, got, I feel comfortable, you know, back in my element, I guess, you know, from when I was a kid, I'm talking like 30 years later. Um, everything was doing good, and then, you know, we were doing some combination, you know, kicks and punches, some drills, and, you know, everything's good. You know, a guy kicked me a couple times in the, you know, the side and felt it, leg kick, you know, we're just practicing it. Give me a pretty good leg kick. Kind of felt that. But keep going, we're going and going, doing some drills, punching. And then we get into the uh, okay, let's let's start doing some sparring, some light sparring. Okay, cool, all right. So we started and told the guy joke around, hey, you know, just he's up on me, it's my first day. So he was. I wasn't really trying to punch to the head, I was just tr trying to, you know, do some kicks, you know, like just technique stuff, you know, just to, you know, get get the body moving and the motion going throw some body punches. So I'm not really covering up my face, you know, cause you know, this is like light sparring. It's like, I, you know, I'm assuming they know this is my first day, right? And there was only a few guys in the class this morning. So anyways, da -da -da, we're throwing some punches, some kicks and uh, everything's good. And and then all of a sudden, boom. <laughs> uh, I got a punch in the face. Wow, that was, that was a wake up call. <laughs> then I realized, wow, like you gotta keep your hands up all the time. And, and if, and if you're going to enroll 
you know, in, in mixed martial arts or whatever, or boxing or whatever. I guess, you know, I, I forgot this is actually fighting. <laughs> you know, this is in yoga class, you know. Uh, you know, you got to prepare yourself to get hit. So I guess my recommendation is if you're going to do this, you know, type of stuff, just rest assured you're going to get punched in the face. So, uh, so that was a little wake-up call. Uh, then, you know, bell rang, went to the, the second guy. I was like, okay, fine, you know, maybe it was just a slip up, whatever, just things happen, you know. And then we're going, we're going, going, getting some kicks. He starts throwing some pretty good leg kicks, trying to leg sweeps. And, uh, you know, and, you know, I, I don't really have my hands too up, and this is where I started learning. And, and boom, clock me, another guy clocked me again right in the face. Now I realize, okay, this, these guys, these guys are serious. And this is what happened, like, when I was a kid in karate. Um, you know, I, when I was, like, 15, 16, you know, they had... Uh, they had like you know they had the kids class but they were too little and then they had the adults class so I would go to the adults 18 and older and I was already like a what yellow belt or something or a blue belt purple belt whatever it was and uh, some of the older guys would come in and they were even though they were white belts it's like I don't know if they had something to prove or something but they would come at me so I was already kind of used to like you know getting kicked hard so uh, I guess I forgot about you know that because it was like my first day but uh <clears throat> so that was a, a pretty good lesson. Uh, then, so I got through the second guy. You know, everything was good. He was throwing some pretty good punches. Um, then I got to my third guy, and I was like, okay, this guy, younger kid, you know, probably in his mid twenties, pretty good shape. I'm like, all right, I got to keep my hands up and going, going, going. And lo and behold, boom, clocked in the head again, right in the face. He hit me this time again. So I was like, okay, this is serious now. Now my jaw's a little bit hurting. And I'm starting to gas out a little bit, but uh, I was like, okay, I gotta, I'm determined. You know, this is, this is something that you gotta, you gotta learn. So, sticking a jab and moving, throwing a couple kicks, and then bam! I rang his bell. You ever seen those faces when the kids are, you know, the face goes the other way? Well, that happened to me three times before, so, but at least I got one in, so. But, anyways, it, it was all good. Um, the guys are pretty cool there. And. But it's definitely an eye opener. Like if you're gonna do this stuff, just kind of be prepared to, uh, you know, to actually get hit, you know. And so it's uh, something that I'm really thinking about. Uh, I'm gonna try. You know, I'm on a free trial right now. I'm gonna try another another class um, with them, and and uh, I'll see like with the ju straight jujitsu and let's see how that works out. But I, I like the kickboxing. Again, you just, you know, you just gotta keep your guard up. That's it. I mean, in a real fight, you know, nobody's gonna ring a bell. You know, this is what happens. So I guess like always be prepared. I guess that, that's that's my point. And, uh, but it was a great workout. Uh, I think I lost a lot, of, a lot of pounds, you know, I burned a lot of calories that day. So I definitely am seeing this as uh, a really great workout. And then you're learning something too, self-defense. So uh, definitely pretty happy, you know, uh, for a moment after I left, I was kind of like doubting myself if I wanted to do this. You know, 44 years old, uh, you know, sparring against some younger guys. But the reality is in life, you know, you know, you know, there's no age limit. You know, so I figured if I start now, you know, by the time I get to my late 40s or early 50s, you know, I think I'll be pretty prepared. You know, for anything that comes my way. You know, again, you know, I'm not looking to start any fights with anybody, but, you know, this world's getting cr kind of crazy. And, you know, we're seeing a lot of, like, uh, you know, attacks and, uh, you know, just, just craziness. You know, nobody's, nobody respects each other anymore. Um, so you just have to, you know, be prepared for anything. So, you know, a couple punches in the, in the you know, in, in the gym while sparring to wake you up, uh, definitely will help in the future. So, you know, you're not in shock when, you know, if, if it ever happens. Again, I'm trying to avoid all kinds of fights, not interested in fighting anybody, but if it, you know, if, it, if it's, you know, you need to defend yourself, at least, you know, you're not gonna be in shock when somebody punches you in the face, you're gonna kind of shake it off and hopefully, and, um, you know, and, uh, and defend yourself. Uh, <clears throat> it's definitely something you have to you have to learn so guys if you're interested 
and uh, following this, uh, follow my channel. Please hit subscribe. And uh, again, this is totally off my normal cell phone uh, uh, business, but uh, that I talk about. But it's kind of interesting too, you know, trying to mix in some life stuff there because it's not all about work. It's about other other fun things that you do in life. And, you know, and this is great because I did wake up early, so it kind of falls into my, you know, you know, work hard, you know, work smart and, and, and work hard too. So waking up super early, I did wake up like at 6.15. So I got out there, got that out of the way. Now I'm on to my, uh, to open up my shop. And so I definitely feel like really alert, which is great. Uh, doesn't feel that great getting hit in the face three times uh, before eight o'clock in the morning, but hey, uh, things could be worse. So happy I went and uh, you know, after like took a nice shower and feel pretty good, uh, you know, feel kind of confident that, you know, I did really great that for my first day and I definitely see myself going again, but uh, stay tuned for the next video and we'll see if, uh, my courage keeps up and uh, definitely move forward with it but at this point i think i'm going to do it feel pretty good about it and uh, we'll see how it goes all right guys thanks again uh like my video and uh, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this have a great day thank you